What we want to do is spend a little bit of time talking about our power shift tractors. The IPC pad that I have here in my hands would come off of a four-wheel drive tractor. When we deal with that IPC pad, that would replace this pad right here that we have on a CVT, and this panel would sit in here as such. Now with that panel sitting on the tractor, what I've got is I've got two buttons that sit in here. I've got what we refer to as a plow button. The plow button is used when the tractor is being operated in the field. And we've got a wagon button. The wagon button is used when the tractor is worked on the highway or on the road. So it becomes, in my mind, a poor man's CVT. With the CVT transmission, we had a constant increase in speed without the operator feeling any increase or decrease or any jolting. Whereas if you've got a power shift transmission, such as what this pad comes from, from our staggered line of tractors, we've got the tractors equipped with a 16-speed full power shift. So what the operator will do is he would depress this bottom button. That is the plow button. With that on, we've got the indicator light that's on the uh, ICU, and when that indicator is on, the tractor is ready to operate. Now, just like before, the operator now can adjust the thumb wheel. The thumb wheel will establish his ground speed. So as the tractor is going through the field, the engine RPM is going to work just like we explained on the CVT. And as the tractor lugs itself down, the engine RPM start to fall, the transmission will downshift, and the engine RPMs will increase, and vice versa. As the load lightens, the transmission is automatically going to upshift, and the engine RPMs will downshift. What it provides for you is a savings, especially in fuel economy, and it allows the tractor and the computers on the tractor to operate the tractor in its most economical means of operation. It's always trying to maintain 100% of power level on the tractor if it can within the speed range that you have selected. One of the negatives of using the APM system is the fact that some people don't like the way the tractor is constantly shifting. So if the tractor is shifting too quick, not quick enough, what you can do is go into the Pro 700 if the tractor is equipped with the Pro 700, go to the tractor tab, and on the tractor tab, go to drivetrain, and on that drivetrain tab, it's got APM sensitivity. In order to adjust the APM sensitivity, this would be this top screen for in the field, and that is nothing more than a scale adjustment that we can come into. As we start, I like to set myself somewhere around that 70% level. So I adjust it, that way the tractor doesn't upshift and downshift as often. We have also got the ability to adjust the APM road sensitivity, and that would be the bottom screen, and you can adjust the same way. In addition, I've got my uh, speed sets that I can take. If you're running in the road mode, I can adjust on a Magnum tractor my startup gears, any gear one through 13th. So let's say that we want to take off in 10th gear. That means that once we've reached 10 gear, 10th gear and we stop, the tractor will automatically start off in 10th gear. It will not go back to 7th gear. The lower gear setting that we've got allows what gear do we want this tractor to come down to anytime we stop. So we could set it at 9th gear. And now the tractor would take off in 9th gear in the field and 10th gear on the road. When you are using APM, now the handle becomes a propulsion lever, just like it does on a CVT tractor, and we are no longer controlling engine RPM with the handle, but it is controlling ground speed. So as you pull back on the handle, the tractor will downshift, the operator can turn around, slow down, etc., and then push the handle back, and the tractor will go back to the preset speed. By turning the thumb wheel, he or she can adjust the ground speed. If we're going to work the tractor on the highway, what we would do is depress the wagon side. When you depress the wagon side, now the tractor is going to try to take off and go with the handle all the way forward 
up to the maximum road speed that that tractor's got. If we're dealing with the stagger tractor, as this panel represents, the tractor would try to go to 16 high. The operator then can drive, pull back, take back off, and if you stop at stop signs, the operator has the flexibility of setting what gear he wants the tractor to take off in. In other words, on the stagger tractor, we could take off in any gear from first gear all the way up through eighth. On a magnum tractor, we can take off in first gear up through 13th gear. So we can set the tractor to take off in any gear from a dead stop. So roading, it becomes very easy for the operator coming to a stop sign with a heavy load, trying to cross four lane stop by using this. Maybe you want to take off in eighth gear or ninth gear, something like that. On stagger, we'd have eighth gear would be capped. On magnum, we could take off in ninth, tenth gear.